Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. Before I knew I Nice. What is going on guys? Akaboka here with another video for you today. Today we're gonna be resuming our Persona 4 Golden playthrough. I know I said gold in the last one, but uh I swear I know the title of two games. This music is so damn jazzy. Oh Rust. On to the next day. 2011, Jesus Christ. I was depressed that year. Jesus Christ, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Maybe you should help him. Yeah, finally, yeah. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. Yun Narukami. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Yosuke. <laughs> He seems to be all right. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? I found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. Jesus Christ, dude, that's dark. I think it was some kind of warning. There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Uh, you might be right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Yeah. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Also true. Very good facts you're throwing out there. We're late. You want to oh. ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> be quiet, you idiots. Look who's talking, you buck tooth motherfucker. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? Don't you have any fucking bottom teeth? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. So, and since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? I'm feeling sexually assaulted by your fucking face, dude. No, I am not honored. And I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that are curious about murder. Got it? Now get your books out. You listen to the lecture intently. Man, I ain't trying. Fuck that shit. Your knowledge has increased, I guess. I'm surprised my fucking knowledge didn't decrease after that guy. So, are you getting used to this place? Eh, it could be better. Wow, that was fast. And there isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. I don't think I want that something. The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? Please don't tell me it's fucking brain or some shit. It's grilled steak, man. Like that's anything special, huh? <laughs> I know a place where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. All right, man. I'm done. What about me, huh? No apologies. My trial of the dragon. Who cares about you? You always come around when I'm talking about food. <laughs> How bad it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? Uh, sure. I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the end today anyway. Alright, listen here, you strange girl. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Understandable. Well, I should be on my way. Then get the heck out of here. Oh well. We should get going too. I mean, I guess you weren't really invited in the first place, but sure, go off. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? 
Uh, you're training three people, man. You're training yourself too. <laughs> this is the thanks we get. <laughs> Should be fine. Juness, God damn it, no. This is the local this Costco. Is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Oh, okay. Here. This is to welcome you to town. Well, how the fucking do you? <laughs> Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it better be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cheers. The conversation became animated over small talk. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh. Uh... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? I mean, you can. Once a big company moves into hey, town. Saki Senpai. Sorry, be right back. <laughs> he wishes. That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why did I leave school early yesterday? Oh, that does not seem normal. Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? No. Are you the transfer student? Oh. <laughs> Did you hear about me already? I mean, right now. If you can, if you can call that hearing about you, I guess. It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I, I mean, would you call him from the big city? He he acts like a douchebag anyway. I don't see Hanachan <laughs> hanging out with the other guys much. That's because he's simping, bro. Not necessarily. <laughs> he doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Eh, he seems like the righteous type of falling over for no reason type of guy. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Yeah, he seems dense enough for that to happen. But no, he's a good guy. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Sure. We'll go with that. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Unfortunately, it'd be like that. Later. Later. Oh, uh, Senpai? <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying. But she's even nosier than me. <laughs> That's a little true. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. 
this is the nosiest bitch of them all, though. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store, and the scion of the invading chain. Ho oh, ho! The flame of forbidden love. Is it really though? Dude, it's not like that. He says flustered. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. This is where it gets PG-13, isn't it? You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? The Midnight Channel, huh? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. Hell no. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. Hell no. And they say that person's your soulmate. Hell no. What? For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. <laughs> Damn. That's true though, that was pretty garbage. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? I mean, coming from your mouth, probably not. Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. And this is when we unlock our magical powers. Try it out. Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. I mean, I hear myself all the time, so, you know. I hear something stupid all the time. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Maybe. Probably. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> if the culprit is still, like, lurking around, then that's something we have to address. Jeez, you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? Childish one? I mean, it's dark humor, bro. All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. Uh, no. I heard the rumor about the Midnight Channel, where you can see a soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. And then Persona! I gotta kick the kid off the TV, don't I? Another dinner alone with Nanako. Did your fa uh, father come? No. He always says he will. Then let's call home. Oh! He's home! <sighs> what a day. You look dead. <laughs> I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? Well, we went to school, we grew up, she had her 18th birthday. No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Sure. Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. All right, time to turn off the news. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. Let's follow up report about the incident yesterday. While Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with the councilman's secretary. This man's wife seems to be an Inca sing uh, singer. Misuzu Hi Iragi. Hi Iragi. Hi Iragi. Misuzu Hi Iragi. Could it be the incident? Uh, could the incident be tied to their lover's quarrel? <laughs> perhaps, but perhaps not. The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. Indeed. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Oh, don't tell me it's going to be the guy with the bag. <sighs> An interview with a kid? <sighs> Where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Oh. Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh, um. Okay, yeah. 
are indistinct. I mean, I can tell. But you feel like you've seen her somewhere before. Don't you yeah. think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Don't you think it's shitty for you to be asking these types of questions to a kid that just saw a dead body? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Why are you prying so much? Huh? That's... The reporter's enthusiasm seems to be perplexing the girl. Yeah. Like, why would you be excited about this? Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki Konoshi, Yosuke's senpai. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. Uh... <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Perhaps. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> That's a good thing. Bring calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? These things take time, dude. We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Okay. Every day's great at your Juness. No, it's not. <laughs> Every day's great at your Juness. Don't you have Disney Channel Low Watch or something? Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? He's asleep. <clears throat> No? He seems to be asleep. It's because he is. Jeez. I'll take you if you want, little girl. When I go to bed, I'll wake up dad and tell him to go to his own room. Still watching TV. Alright. Leave him alone. All right. Check it out in your room. All right. Your room. All right. Watch TV in my room, I guess. Let's get this over with more. You can hear it raining outside. Ah, well, yeah. I can see it raining as well. It's almost midnight. Soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. I don't really want to do this, do I? Jesus Christ, kid, are you good? Are you okay? I'm okay. 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 Well, good night. Good night. Alright. Jesus Christ, dude, that guy just fucking thwacked his head against the table. Jesus. He decided to talk about it with the others tomorrow. Alright. I mean, do you really want to? <laughs> do you really want to? Sorry. Perfect time. Sorry, move over. Force yourself under your umbrella. Okay, I guess. <laughs> I did have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they used to, uh, where they use an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves, and I accidentally broke mine trying to mimic the movie. That seems like something you do. By the way, did you see it? Did you see it? Uh, see what? You know the thing we were talking about yesterday, that midnight channel. Uh. Never mind, I'll save it for when the others are around. We're gonna be late for school. Yeah, let's hurry off.
Good, goodness uh, um, me. Oh, uh, it's kind of awkward to only bring this up now, but we're pretty close here. I'm just gonna go ahead and run the rest of the way. You'll catch a code, don't worry about it. Then let's race. Yeah, this seems like it'll make her happy. Let's race. We're both gonna run through the rain? What's the point of that? in that? Besides, it's not like I wanted to make a break for it. <laughs> Am I worrying you too much? Eh, I'll keep going with you anyway. Alright, here on. we go. Let's go then. Hello everyone, my name is Kimiko Sofue. Sofue? Whatever, I'm Kimiko. <laughs> and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. First, a little about me. I used to love my dowser to look for lost items. And there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy the profundity of history together. Ho ho ho. And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transferee, Mr. Narukami, please stand up. I guess. The Western calendar is based on Anno Domini, the traditionally believed year of Jesus Christ's birth. What year? What is the year before 1 AD called? 1 BC? 0 AD? Ah, uh, shit. I'ma look this up. I had a feeling. You give the answer you think is correct? Oh, you seem to understand this well. If you think that history is like math, Zero AD would be the natural assumption, but world history is much more complicated. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar, which made it, which was made while there was no concept of the zero as a number. That's why, when counting backwards, we go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Yeah, because the concept of zero was a Mayan concept. I believe it was Mayan, correct? Or perhaps Aztec. Yes, it was the Aztecs, rather. Hopefully that was a nice introduction to world history. You gave the correct answer. Knowledge has increased. Nice. I got them smart particles, bro. After school. Let's go. Alright. What's up with the body being hung upside down? That's so freaky. I like how she's just known as short girl. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. Indeed it is. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Yeah, most likely. Hey, Yosuke. Yo! Um... What it's, is... uh... It's not really that important, but... Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Perhaps Yukiko, they're... are you helping out at the inn today too? Probably. Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Is it just me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? She usually seems stressed out, man. I guess they're running her ragged. Most likely. Work on a teenage body like that, it, it'll kill you. By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl! But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't oh. quite tell who it was, <laughs> but it was a girl for sure. Did you see the biddies? Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... 
Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And I we saw we the same it. girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? I don't think that's what I mean whatsoever. How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? Maybe. Tell them about what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. Ah, uh, yeah, probably. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? I mean, pay no mind to that. Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. You don't believe me now, but you believe me when the demons come for your giblets. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. Yeah. Just keep making fun, fun of me. You'll see what happens. If it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Good for you. Nice. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. And I don't think they're ever going out of style because people just like smaller TVs, bigger screens. I don't know. Like, smaller in terms of how wide they are. Or depth. Whatever. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Every day is great at your... Oh. Definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen! You're very excited about this. I recommend you for that. What the? <laughs> okay. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> they don't believe you at all. Yeah. You decide to just go <laughs> to go to the genus with them. Every day is great at your June S. Electronics department. Wow! This is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? People who got money. I don't know. Rich folks? Exactly. Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well... At least looking spree. Nope, can't get in. Figures. You guys are assholes. <laughs> <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. But which side is that? Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia. What kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? Perhaps. <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! How many zeros are you looking for? I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! Nah, you're being a dick. No. <laughs> you know I can't do that. Sure, I wish. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... You're standing in front of that one singer girl who was gonna sue the girl that got... That was cheating on... The... What? Have you ever had a dreams that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you? They're standing in front of a stand up uh like a cutout of that one girl that was gonna sue the the reporter that died. The TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. Uh. 
Guys? Oh, yeah. What kind of TV do you... Guys? Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Um... Is his arm... in the TV? Whoa... Uh... Is that some kind of... new model? L like with a, a new function? Uh... Hell no! Guys, help me out here. You gotta be kidding me! Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. That's not magic, dude. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Both of them are staring at you, astonished. You might be able to put in more than just your arm. Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? Oh my god! <laughs> just a, oh my god! There's empty space inside. You tell them that. What do you mean in inside? inside. What, what do you mean empty space? It seems very spacious in here. Drop in, bro. What do you mean spacious? I mean, what's going on? Holy crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. Why do you gotta take a leak now, bro? What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. What about lunch and breaks between class? Bro. I can't hold it anymore. This bro's. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit! Customers! They're coming! What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here! What are we gonna do? Uh, pull me out, bro. Wait! Whoa! Or that. Barely. Is this a dream? No, I'd say the pain I'm feeling right now is very real. Did you take a leak while you fell down? R real? Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? My question exactly. No, oh, stupid. Look around. It's a stage. Is this a studio? Or yeah, that's all it. this fog. Or is it smoke? Yo, we about to perform? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Oh, shut the f <laughs> Let's go home, dude. G good plan. Look, we need to get home and. Where is home? Huh? Wait a minute. W which way did we come in from? Uh, from up. Uh, I don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? All right, let's calm down. Y you're right. Okay. Okay. Let's calm down and think about this. All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got so we in. Think about it. So we must be able to get out somehow. That's true. But if there's no exit, we're trapped. So let's cross our fingers and look around. All right, let's look around. Look. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. 
Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we've got to trust our instinct a little. I know, but... It seems that there's no choice but to continue onward. Yeah, just keep going forward, bro. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? Yeah, it is. No service. What a surprise. A little less uh, distortion, really. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Yeah. Huh? What the? Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? It's a dead end. There's no exit. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Just go to the bathroom. My bladder's gonna explode! Go in the corner. Yosuke, what are you I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. You're going here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding. Turn around, I can't go if everyone's watching. <laughs> yeah, man. That's a pretty simple problem. I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. <laughs> Just a little. Anyways, lipper. what's with this room? I don't know. It looks like somebody was killed here. Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Dude. This chair and rope? That kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on! Let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere <laughs> else for an exit. Yeah, let's get out of here. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Yeah, it was a stu it was a cutout from earlier. And I'm not feeling so good. Tell that to Mr. Stark. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Did it be due to the place's oppressive atmosphere? Probably. Alright, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. But oh, what the fuck? Oh hell no. Nah. That's why I thought the line. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? Something that's gonna kill us. What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? But what the fuck? <gasps> it talked! Well, what are you? You wanna fight? Y'all wanna tussle. D don't yell at me like that. Well, stop being creepy. The bear is cowering in fear. <laughs> Maybe it would be better to ask him nicely. Uh, what are you? I'm a bear. Can't you tell? I live here by myself. No, I can't tell, bro. I've always lived here. It doesn't have a name. Okay. You live here? When are you gonna undo the zipper to your neck? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Well, tell us where to go. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? I don't know. What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? I 
I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. Tell us where. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? What the hell? Okay, <laughs> just three set TV sets. Where did those TVs come from? They're all pretty freaking huge, if you ask me. Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? Don't touch me there. S stop pushing! <laughs> Just <laughs> yoink him away, man. Did we make it back? Yep. Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Oh my god. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Nice. Crap, it's already that late? Looks like we were in there for quite a while. Yeah. A couple That's hours. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Just look. Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Most likely, yeah. Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. With the scarf. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take any more. I'm feeling a chill, too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Sam. Alright, evening. Hey, welcome home. Ramen tonight? Um, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? She discovered the body just straight up tell him. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just straight up tell him. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. Oh, God. We've got people looking for her, but... She hasn't been found yet. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Oh no, not the news. You guys always fucking blow shit out of proportion and fucking worry people even more. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Or perhaps she was stuck there. Oh yes! The Amagi Inn! Their hot springs are first rate! Yeah, the commentator is just... Some douchebag. <laughs> the manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Don't be a creep, bitch. Uh, I see. 
Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Umagi Inn, run by Yukiko's family. And it seems that the whereabouts of Saki Konishi, who discovered the Bazi, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. <laughs> you sneezed. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? Maybe some soup too. That'll help. You should get to bed after you take it. Yeah, he'll probably knock me out. Alright. So, gonna go ahead and save right here, guys. I think that's gonna do it for today. But yeah. Really enjoying the game. It's some stuff happening, you know. Getting deeper into the lore of the story. Uh, I've been recording for just over 50 minutes now. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember to. Hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Tell me how you like the game. Uh, if you played the game and if you played any of the other Persona games in the series. I'm really interested to see how you guys uh, feel about it. But yeah. Remember to hit that like button. Comment. Subscribe here on YouTube. Hit that notification bell to be notified every time I do post a new video. And remember to also follow me in on uh, follow me on Twitch. The link is in the description below. But until next time, but until next time, guys. I'll see you later.